How you doing guys? Saints Heavy Boxing Dosage here back with another video. And in this video I like to give you my prediction for Canelo Alvarez versus Avni Yildirim. You know, it's going down on February twenty seventh. You know, um this is a fight which a lot of people are really not really liking, you know, this matchup. You know, they feel that Canelo's a far better boxer than Avni Yildirim. You know, so uh, looking into both fighters I just feel that Avni Yildirim possesses a style which come forward and he sort of targets the body and you know he's a one dimensional sort of fighter he doesn't know how to fight off the back foot and that's his problem to be honest uh, he can't really take a step back and you know keep forcing the pace of the fight he really doesn't know how to fight on the back foot so that's his issue in this fight whereas Canelo like he's a main sort of all-round sort of fighter you know he's got many attributes and qualities about him that's why he's considered the best pound for pound one of the best in the boxing world today you know um like i said many fans don't really like this fight and i can see why you know um basically most of the public are going with the fact that avni yildrum been knocked out by chris Eubank jr in three rounds you know uh that's true he did get knocked out by Chris Eubank Jr. in three rounds. And he looked very poor in that fight, you know. His defense weren't great, you know. And uh, he's not a natural boxer. He's not really uh, got much footwork about him, you know. Um, he's a definitely one sort of dimensional sort of fighter, you know. But he's been training with Joel Diaz, you know, um, a really good trainer. You know, he trained Timothy Bradley to becoming a world champion, beating Manny Pacquiao, you know, many sort of things like that, you know. So, Joel Diaz is a really good uh, boxing trainer, you know. But the thing is, this fight is too soon for him. I don't believe um, Joel Diaz will be able to train Avni Yildirim to the way that he wants him to be. You know, with that being said, not a one-dimensional one sort of fighter. It takes a while for someone like Avni Yildirim to uh, sort of get that into his head you know it won't come off of one fight you know one or two fights you know it takes a while and you're going in there with the pound for pound one of the best boxers out there today who's got it all you know defense offense you know a really good ring general you know just his presence being there is mentally draining for his opponents you know because he doesn't really do much but he walks you down and when he lands his shots the thing i've noticed about canelo is when he lands his shots, they're very accurate, you know. He doesn't waste any punches. You know, if you look back and see in his last fight against Callum Smith, he was pretty much walking him down all the way to the ropes and gets gets his shots off, you know. Um, and just that mental presence of him being there is just mentally draining when he walks his opponents down because he shows them different angles. He faints, you know. He uses his jab, you know. He's not very sort of predictable, you know, don't know where the shot's coming sometimes, I should say. So that's why Canelo's a really dangerous fighter. But to be honest, in this fight, you know, Canelo's got to be cautious, you know, because Avni Yildirim, you know, in his last fight against Anthony Durrell, that was his last fight. You know, I did see many improvements in that last fight, you know, so those that, you know, don't give Avni Yildirim much credit, they say, oh, he's just been knocked out by Chris Eubank Jr. They haven't seen the fight, the last fight, you know, against Anthony Durrell. He was giving him a good fight. And to be honest, before the fight got stopped, you know, um, I pretty much had Avni Yildirim, you know, winning that fight. You know, even though the judges had it, you know, in um, Durrell's favour, you know, I think Yildirim was doing pretty well in that fight. Till it got stopped for the you know the accidental head but but uh yeah like like i say this ain't a great matchup as well obviously canelo's got really much pretty much all the advantages you know but in boxing you just never know if one punch can change it all you know so canelo's got to be very careful i think to be honest yeah you got to give canelo a lot of credit he's a four four, four or five division world champion you know i know a lot of people didn't want to see this fight happening but 
he's been facing world champion after world champion, you know, on his resume, you know, so you got to give the guy credit. I know this ain't the best matchup, like I said, but after this fight, we're going to see Bill Joe Saunders versus Canelo in May, hopefully. They've got a signed deal, agreed verbal verbal contract, you know, so I, I can't wait to see that fight. That's a really good fight, man. But back to this fight, guys, like, Abney Yildirim, his best chance to win this fight is to go out for the knockout early, you know, um, trying to push uh, Canelo back because Canelo will walk you down, you know, and that's his game plan. Canelo likes to walk his opponents down. We've seen that in his last couple fights. He's been walking them down since the first round. So, you know, it's going to be very important for Abney to, you know, be the pressure fighter in there. In the, in the early rounds, you know, if he's going to cause an upset. Because the later the fight goes, I feel that Canelo's style will gradually wear him down. And uh, uh, Canelo's got to be careful. He's got to weather the storm. What I mean by that, we might see having the Aldrin come out like James Kirkland did. But he's going to be very more, very more fundamentally sound. He's not going to be just like going in there with his head open, you know, left open to get countered. You know, that's what James Kirkland did, but he's going to be much more wary. And uh, obviously, Joel Diaz must have taught him a thing or two. So I expect him to be a bit more smart, smarter with his pressure. But nevertheless, he's going to come out on his blazing. I just feel that Canelo's got to weather the storm. He's got to use this fight to brush up on his defense, you know. That's what I'm saying. He's got to do that because Avni Yildirim's going to bring it. So he's got to brush up on that defense. So I feel that Canelo will weather the storm and he'll get his counter shots in every now and then, you know, and then slowly he'll grow to, you know, take Abney Yildirim out, you know. He, Abney Yildirim won't be able to sustain that counter punching ability of Canelo. Eventually he's going to back off and get a sort of round where he gets his stamina back, you know, and that's where Canelo's going to pick him more apart, you know. Ooh, I just feel Canelo's going to, Start tagging him to the body, you know. Avni Yildirim's a big guy as well. He's got a size advantage. But I feel the later the fight goes, the more easier Canelo will win, you know, because he'll be able to zap Avni Yildirim's energy. And to be honest, Avni Yildirim isn't the, isn't the hardest person to fight in, find in the ring, you know. He's very stationary. And I feel that he's going to start eventually getting into a war with Canelo. And that's where he'll get knocked out because I feel Canelo is just more smarter in there, you know. He's just going to find an opening, maybe a feint or an uppercut. You know, I like the uppercut in this fight. I feel that Canelo's going to win this fight, guys. So in my final prediction, guys, I'm going to go with Canelo Alvarez to win this fight by knockout, you know. And I'm going to say probably rounds f four, to, 4 to 8 uh, in between them rounds or even earlier but I feel four to eight it's a more realistic sort of um, shout in my opinion in my prediction video but I just feel that Canelo is going to use this fight though as a sort of uh, fight where he learns to again brush up on his defense because you know we're going to see Avni Yildirim play into the style where he's going to come forward you get what I'm saying so he's going to use that as an advantage to brush up on the defense and this is a fight that's going to be prepared for the Billy Joe Saunders fight. And that's the fight I'm really looking forward to this year. So, yeah, my final prediction, guys, I've got Canelo Alvarez to win this fight by knockout. You know, let me know your thoughts, as always. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be dropping more prediction videos. So uh, check them out soon as well. You know, Zane's Heavy Boxing, Dosage, and I'm out.